so just as we're trying to sort the system out with the water we've discovered we've got a water leak So the van is now coming up to nine months old. So something we do, we try and do it sort of every six to nine months, and that is clean our water system out. Now we don't drink from our water system, um, but if it's if it's maintained properly, you can. Uh, but we still clean it just to obviously make sure those pipes aren't getting clogged up. So we use this product, which is called PuraClean, and I just put a few tablespoons into a bucket like this just to dilute it down so that I'm not putting raw powder directly into my onboard tank. Once you've got it in, there are various ways then you can go around mixing it in. So some people will take the van for a few miles spin and just let the water sort of slush around everywhere. Um, but because of, because we live in the van, it's not easy then for us to be without water for sort of a length of time like normally we would leave it in the tank for 24 hours we would have opened up all the taps within the van to make sure that it was all in the pipes shut it all down left it for 24 hours and then we'd come back and empty it the following day put a fresh tank in again let it swash around do another full drain down and you could even sometimes refill and drain down again just to make sure it's all out of there uh, but because we're living in the van, I haven't got that option. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this. We've got about half a tank in there now. So I'm going to add this in there and get my hand in and just swoosh it around, make sure it's getting all around the tank and let it sit there for an hour or two, get it through the pipes. And, um, so our onboard water tank is under this seat here. So I've got a red bun that gives me access to the top of it so I'm just going to take that off and that reveals a big hole here so there's my water tank I have transferred the water from the bucket to the pouring jug because you can imagine trying to pour a bucket in there I'll probably get it everywhere so let's just pour this straight into there So the other thing I do as well before I start this is I turn my hot water off. I don't want to be boiling this kind of water. I run it through the boiler. Um, but you definitely don't want to be boiling it. So yeah, we're just going to give this, get it so it's getting all around the tank. He's a big tank. I'm now going to go. We've got two sets of taps in this fans. So we've got the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink. So I'm just going to go into both of them now and just run that water. Cold through, feel the water. You can feel it's got a bit of a, like a soap to it. And you can see it froth in here. So I know now the Pura Clean has come through all the pipes. And we're going to bring through some on the heart as well. So I'm going to. So just as we're trying to sort the system out with the water, we've discovered we've got a water leak dripping down from under the oven. Now we've had water drip in there for a couple of weeks and not even known what it was. Um, just thinking I'd spilt some dirty dishwater or something on the floor, but um, we've literally just had to grab a towel real quick. It's been dripping down just from there. If you can see it. So we've had to quickly whip out these drawers. The only problem is the screws are so small. I got three of them out. There's a fourth one there I'm just trying to get hold of. Yeah, we have got a knife. You can use like the pointy end to try and get the smaller screw out. I got it. Well done, love. So we're going to try and see what's going on. We had um, a sink block. Well, that's it. The, wa the, the water on this sink has never gone down particularly fast as it have it's always been a really slow one yeah so a couple of days ago we put some just soda crystals that's all so we put some soda crystals through just trying to unblock it but i've just because we're doing the pure clean on the water pipes i filled that sink up and it's going down slowly i thought let the pure clean go through the waste on that as well it might just help so I've done a full bowl, it's going down very slow, but all of a sudden there's water coming from underneath the bloody oven. It looks as though, from what I can feel a minute, the plug trap, the waste part of the plug, 
that's connected to the sink is a little bit loose. Um, oh, there's a lot of water coming out. And now. that's where the water is coming from. So it's not coming from the pipes. It's actually coming from between the plug and the sink. So there's a little, I did notice when I had the drawers out here a couple of weeks ago, there was like, a, I noticed a bit of wood fixed on top of that hole there. So I knew that was going to be an access hole to get access to the plumbing works, but it's, it's really tight beer. So I'm just gently trying to get this cloth under, you know, the ovens here, there's woodwork here. Yeah, that's loose. Right. I gotta try and take that up. There's a flat head on this. Luckily, I do kitchens for a living. So, yeah, look how loose that is. Yeah. Can't see your fingers in the way. <laughs> so, it's our little one there needs tightening. It's still not brilliantly tight. But, that, I mean, it shouldn't be doing that. No, and the thing is, down here, we've got our. Um, electric points and our gas. So obviously having water dripping down from the oven is not exactly ideal, is it? No, definitely not. So what I'm going to try and do now, love, is I need to get my hand underneath that, put a little bit of water down when I say, and we'll see if there's any more water coming through. I mean, the only other option I've got is to take take the oven out. The oven out, which, what? to be honest, you, I really don't want to be doing. Have they put a seal around the oven? I mean, where's all this water been going? It's been coming out from underneath the wood. So we're not going to make it all mouldy. We won't make it mouldy, but we don't want water. Right? Yeah, I see. There's quite a bit of water up there. Right. Let me come the other side you love. So yeah, this is the water's tracking either on top of the oven and then coming down the sides. I mean, I can't get behind it. I might have to take the oven out just to... Yeah, the water I, I saw was coming down from under there. Yeah, see, look, there's water under here. As soon as I... Let me see if I can uh, get this front panel off. That should be a clip on. Yeah. So, our kitchen's looking a little bit dismantled at the minute. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised point. if we do find water under you because I've been wondering where it, it's been coming from the last couple of weeks, but they, it's only been small amounts. So originally I thought that something had spilt from the fridge or I dropped water on the floor when I was doing the dishes or perhaps the kids had just been a bit messy with their drinks. Um, and then we had the blockage and of course now we've noticed there's a leak so because a lot of water was yeah trying to go through it all at the same time see yeah i'm just hoping there's that's not, not joined now to the uh, fridge one there's a screw going through the side there do you reckon here. that's why we're having problems with the fridge as well the electric if there's water around surrounding all that mm -hmm. yes yes they do i think it's all linked yeah there's all the electrics and out of here because we've had a few problems with the fridge deciding that's not going to go on electric even though we've got electric hookup the fridge then has been faulty we've had to have it on gas and we thought potentially it might have been a fuse or the uh what do you call the board for a fridge this is what i was worried about it's all joined isn't it yeah i don't think i'm gonna get into that <clears throat> Or you could get into it and it's going to be full of blinking water. Okay, the good news is there isn't loads of water down there. That's good news. That's dry. Because that could have potentially just been more earache for us, couldn't it? Uh -huh. I mean, we are planning to go back to the dealer as soon as we go back to the I've UK. I've already spoken to them because there's quite a few issues. But what's one of the other issues we got, love, and where is it? The floor. Yeah. We um, noticed we've got a bit of a sponge. Is it spongy, would you say? It's not spongy. It's just like between here and here, it's dropped. Bear in mind, this fan's only nine months old. You expect snags, don't you? 
I, yeah, I don't expect stuff like that though. But yeah, we are having a few issues. What's it like having to use a manual screwdriver now, love? I know, I know. <laughs> you feel like you're going back to dark ages. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Do you know what as well I thought was weird the other week? Um, down here we've got um, like a little floor that we can lift up and have it as like storing shoes and whatnot. And it was full of water the other day. What, in there? Yeah, and I didn't think anything of it. Cause I, but I did think, well, it was weird because we hadn't actually been anywhere that the shoes were wet. They were all dry. How much water was in there? Well, it was on the bottom. It was all on the bottom. Just a layer across the bottom. Yeah, to put like a rag in there to get it all out. You didn't tell me that. Well, I didn't think nothing of it. I just thought, oh, there were shoes in there. It could have just been from them. At that time, I didn't know we had a leak, did I? No, I need some kitchen roll, love. So obviously, I'm restricted in what I can do because a, I don't want to avoid no warranty, and b, I have none of my tools with me. So, so what I'm actually going to do is. We're going to put the oven on uh, because the oven in itself will create heat in this area and it's just going to help get that dry. Um, you want to dry it as quick as you can to avoid, let me see that soaking, to avoid any of the wood actually soaking in the water. So we'll get him on. I'll leave him on a minute. Oh. We did, we've just done a test. I've tightened the screw up on that plug and then just put a little bit more water in and I put some kitchen roll underneath, which has got some wet on it, but to be honest, I don't know if that was wet that was already there. So we'll do the test again now. I just want to make sure there is no water there. That's going to be picked up on the new kitchen roll, love. Blood now that's tight. <laughs> Hardly seems worth putting a service point there, it is really tight. Right, yeah, see, so what we're doing now is if I can get this underneath it now, back in our hole. Come here, I'll get a torch on it and show you. Where's the torch? We've lost all your tools now. <laughs> that's that's uh, typical. It's not under there, is it? No. Typ typical bit that's you spend 5% of the time working and 95% of the time looking for stuff you just add. Right, so you might actually. Yeah. So there's the problem. You see, like it's hard for me to see it just at the bottom of the sink. But that's where it is. It's dry now, so I'll put this under and we'll run some water beer and see if we can carry on using this sink or if it's just gonna have to be out of order till it goes back. Just gonna put a little bit of water down there, not gonna do loads. We'll carry on putting filling the water tank back up because that's just had the uh, pure clean in. So I'm gonna fill it back up again and then do another full drain down and then that's been rinsed out then. So while that's refilling, that's going to take about 10 minutes. We'll keep playing around with... Just think so. At least it's a nice day. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. You know, things could always be worse. Just things you could do without, isn't it? But you know, as I said, it's got a lot to answer for because we've been having this the fridge. When we put it on 230, so just normal electric, It'll work most of the time, but then every now and again, it'll have a period of a couple of hours where it like starts beeping, it's disconnected, and then it's back on, it's disconnected, it's back on. And I always put it down to the site. Each site obviously has different power electric, you know, it could be slightly different amps, etc. So I've just put it down to that, and it's not been too happy with some of the site's electrics. But now we've discovered that, I'm thinking different. The same with the dip in the floor, right in front of the sink. It can't all be coincidence. So we're well, back in the UK in a week. We've already spoken to the dealers when we were first came to France about some of the issues, because that's not the only issue we had, was it? We had the electric point broke off the van. Oh, it snapped, didn't it? Yeah, so I was taking the power point out and literally, I'll show you. Yeah, I took it out one time and thought I'd ripped it to pieces and it was already like it. <laughs> so, 
I was taking just you got to press this button every time you disconnect and so I did that went to pull off and this whole thing just came out luckily the cables are all still connected I've put a washer on it it's not really holding it too well so I'm just being super delicate with it at the moment but yeah these have all been reported to the manufacturer so let's see if we can sort this sink out I've just taken the plug out because there's quite a bit of dirt underneath this yeah and that's gonna stop it from getting a nice seal a knife master of all tools yeah I need a flathead I might when we pop into town now I'm gonna see if I can find one because this needs nipping right up it relies on the rubber seal below yeah no i need a flathead this isn't biting it so don't use this and if i can get a flathead now and t nip that up yeah. it probably will be okay but yeah i need a flathead to tighten that up so i can get the seal nice and tight to the underside of the sink so that water isn't leaking What's an so Rico marsh on the way in you don't know what to do did we pass one? There'll be something in town now. All right. We'll find a DIY. We've got to go into town crazy. anyway for some baguettes because I cooked earlier. This is why all the stuff's out because it's ready for our tea. I did a stew, a lesson with Amelia this morning, just cooking. So uh, that's why that's there. I don't normally leave it out all day, just in case you're wondering. So one of our uh, neighbours here on site, just over there, um, has kindly lent us a flathead screwdriver hoping to solve this issue. Stu's just put the water in and it's leaking again. Can't use it then, out of order. Right okay let's take it back off see what's going on here. So see underneath you have your cup bit this sits on top of the cup bit that goes under the sink. This sits inside the sink. Now normally You'd, this is what we call a gasket, but normally on this bit you'd have another gasket here It's like a little foam ring. There's nothing on this one now I have noticed on other motorhomes you don't get them. So it's not I don't think it's missing it but in kitchens at home That is what you have, you know, and that's obviously there for a reason Right, can you get me you know that pouring jug we had earlier love? Yeah any chance I can have that? I'm going to try and take the bottom part of the trap on this off somehow. If it doesn't work this time, then the sink will have to go out of order. But so we're not back for a week, and a week when you're living in it is a long time, isn't it, love? Yeah, because it looks like I'm going to be going back and forth to the washing up facilities. And. We haven't been staying places with washing facilities, have we? No. We've been on airs, so it'll be interesting, that's for sure. So this is our third attempt now. Yeah, but what I'm doing this time is I'm just che I'm check I'm only putting it down the actual plug because I'm checking to make sure it's not the bottom trap part that's gone. So I don't want it to be around the seal up here. Dry, right? Now we'll check it again so the verdict is I can't get it I can't fix it I don't this other things like I could put a, a seal, I've got a seal sealant I could use but I don't want to use it because I don't want to void the warranty yeah um, I've just taken it all apart I've cleaned it put it back together but something isn't right somewhere for whatever reason I'm not messing with it no more and it's not because I don't know what I'm doing, it's the van <laughs> warranty that's there. I don't want them to turn around and say, oh, you've done this, this, this. I'm just not going to touch it. I've said I've already taken it apart. I've dried the water to prevent any further damage. Um, I've taken the trap out, given that all a good clean. But it still wants to leak mm. water. I mean, that's why obviously it leaked in the first place. So we're just going to... Have to use a bottle and empty that either in the bathroom or a grey waste but just want to give a john a shout out thanks for popping over with your sealant and your flathead screwdriver 
Um, he's just parked over there, very kindly came over and has tried to give us a hand. Um, and this is what we do love about van life community, whether you're part-time, full-time, tenters, anything. This community is just so helpful and friendly and no one's afraid of putting themselves out for anybody else, are they? No, we don't help each other out. I literally went, oh, look, there's a British plate. <laughs> I literally went running over to them to ask them. So <laughs> they were lovely, weren't they? Really yeah, nice. Really so nice. thanks, guys. Appreciate that help. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to have to figure out how to do the dishes. Um, luckily, we're on a campsite today, so I can go and use the washing facilities on site. So... But yeah, moving forward, just sinks out of bounds. But until next time, we'll see you in a bit.